Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a preview for Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin. Uh, so let's talk about this book. Let's talk about the creative team here. This book is written by J.M. DiMatteis with art by Michael Santamaria, uh, Chris Sotomayor on colors, letters by Joe Caramagna. We also have a few variant covers you'll see at the end of the video. Uh, this is very interesting because... Obviously, Demetrius is very, very, very famous writer with uh, when it comes to Spider-Man. Uh, but in this issue, Norman Osborn was not the first Goblin, as is the Goblin that we know. But he is not the original. Learn the shocking secrets of the Proto Goblin, who has not yet understood that with great power comes great responsibility. Also, Peter Parker is a very different person from who we know in this uh, in this new story that continues to build. The legacy and the mythos of the classic spider lore. This time, of course, paired with Michael Santamaria, who is a rising artist at Marvel Comics. So very interesting pairing. Very interesting uh, kind of pitch for the book as well, right? We have this proto-goblin. We have a Peter Parker that's not fully the Spider-Man that we kind of know and love. So how will all this play out? Uh, so I'm very interested. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the preview art. Because I want to show you, I'm not familiar with uh, with the artists, so I want to see what are they bringing to the table. And just from the preview pages, um, I like how it feels very grounded. Uh, you know, not so much into not your traditional superhero. Like a lot of emotional, like the emotions captured in the faces are very strong. Especially the second page. You know, we have Peter figuring out there's some overdue bills. Uh, and May missing Uncle Ben. You see the empty space on the bed. Like all of it, very classic Spider-Man stuff. And who knows better than that than you know Dimitris. Uh, And then of course we have uh, kind of a scummy guy. We we know this is a story that we kind of know we've seen before, or at least maybe a different facet of it. But I w I'm interested to figure out how is this Spider-Man different? How is he not the person that we kind of know from the comics already? So. Uh, I think it's going to be very fun to follow this series. I can't wait to at least check out this first issue to see if it's something that I would be interested in continuing to read. Um, there's a lot of good Spider-Man stuff out there. There's some Spider-Man that's not exactly for me. Uh, but either way, any way you cut it, I think it's fun. It's a fun time to be a Spider-Man fan. So if you have read this video, let me know what you thought about. Uh, if you have read this comment, let me know what you thought about the, this on the uh, on the comments of the video. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.